All right, folks, on the podcast, what I want to talk about today was also something that relates to the fitness industry in which I'm a part of. Uh, Ian Christopher Bonick, 43 years old, ex-Marine, Summer Fi, and he went ahead and is accused of first-degree murder in the death of his ex-wife, Katie Bonnet, 39 years old. The couple shared two small children who are now going to be orphans because she's dead, and he will spend the rest of his life in jail. And like I said, he was a Marine, and he was a bodybuilder, and they did find a cache of steroids. They found a cache of illegal weapons and illegally uh, non-registered silencers. You cannot be supposed to have silencers in the first place. So he's been booked into the uh, county jail over there in Florida. I believe he's being held in about a $2 million bond, which would be a cash bond of probably about $200,000. Apparently there was a long history of he and his wife having to go to court and getting some restraining orders and things like that. And you can see the court records are up there where they went ahead and had their parental uh, discretion and go ahead and give the child custody and all those different arrangements. So, so apparently what happened was she came over there on a Friday night wanting to get all of the rest of her belongings, and he gave her the okay to do that. And then when she got there, he basically beat her to death, and there was blood all over the hall and all over the foyer going from the garage into the kitchen area. And he tried to clean it up, and then he went ahead and tried to burn her body and told the police, you know, there was no body and all these things. And, of course, he's busted, right? So uh, imagine that. And he has a really, uh, he was really very active and very vocal on social media, did a lot of posts about a lot of different things. And apparently uh, he and his wife were Trump supporters. They wore a Trump 2020 mask while they're on a plane during the COVID pandemic. And he also posted things about being a patriot, not having to apologize for a pa- being a patriot and how his life uh, matters. You know, skin color doesn't matter. And he has a picture of somebody pointing a gun at somebody. And I think one of the ironies is that he went ahead and he made fun of The Rock. He said that The Rock was a loser, another Hollywood loser, because he had gone ahead and endorsed Joe Biden. And apparently uh, this Christopher Ian Bonnet guy definitely was a big-time Trump supporter. And he also thought that everything about the vaccination and the mass mandates was a big fake and a big hoax. There's a couple of posts that he went ahead and posted on social media as well. And he went ahead and obviously, you know, he called The Rock a loser. So what does this make this guy, right? And he was taking all these steroids, telling, telling people that you know, he was about to make the guy in the mirror look really small. And he was already big enough as it was, six foot three, 250 pounds. I think it's plenty big. So I guess he was planning on getting to be about 300 pounds or something like that. So, yeah, the couple had a couple of kids. You see pictures of him and with his kids and all that stuff over here. One of my fine irony is in one of the pictures, he's actually wearing a yellow jacket standing next to his daughter in the snow. And it says state prison, which is exactly where he's going to wind up being. So he's going to be in state prison, so that's kind of a foreboding. That was a little bit of foreshadowing as to how his thing was going to wind up. And he's not going to be seen on his motorcycle anymore, and he's not going to be doing any bodybuilding. And he's going to be in jail, and it's really sad because now the kids don't have any parents, and who knows who's going to raise them, probably the grandparents or such. So thanks for listening, and uh, see you catch you guys on YouTube and Spotify and everywhere else.